hi welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show us one of the new cool thing in excel which is get data from pictures and clipboard so let's get started by the way if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly consider doing that and turn on the bell icon to get notifications when new video comes up so let's dive in now i have two pictures in here okay we just for columns we have the date payment brand and units and of course this is 2021 data now when i swipe over to the left i can see the year 2020 so let's get these two data from these pictures into excel and then we're going to append and analyze using the pivot table so let's do that so the new feature is actually located under the data tab of the ribbon and then under the get and transform data group we have from pictures and then we have from clipboard okay now the clipboard simply means you've taken a picture from excel and then you want to actually get it within the excel environment but from this example we actually want to get a picture from our file so i click on picture from file and then it will be pictures are uh, which is under my pictures and then we have sales 2020 and 2021 so let's get the sales 2020 into excel for so i double click and then we can see the tax pain data from picture data from picture and it has been analyzed and then we have the preview in this tax pain to the right so we can actually click on review or any spelling errors that is in the data from the picture so the first one is this we have three items require review so this actually perfect morning so i'm going to type in the y that is missing so i click on accept and then it's jumped to two of three and i put in the y click on accept and then three of three put in the y and then i click on accept so you can see no items require review so you can click on accept and finally we can click on insert data and then we have you are responsible for validating the accuracy of all data prompt which is fine but before i click the final insert data i'm going to choose the cell location which is cell a1 and then i'm going to click on insert data and that is awesome so we have the data from the picture in our excel spreadsheet which is absolutely wonderful okay ctrl x and then I'm going to paste here, Control V, and then I delete this, the column D rather. So we have the year 2020 data from the picture. Now let's get the second one. So from picture, and then I browse through the location. So we have 2021. So double click, and then we can see that it has been analyzed and the data is being prepared. Again, I want to quickly review to tidy things up. And then i'm going to choose accept so this web money and i can choose accept and then i tidy things up click on accept and finally you can click on accept and then i'm going to come right at the bottom of the year 2020 data so it's going to be staked below the 2020 okay so i click on insert data and then insert data and that's amazing so what I'm going to do is to get rid of the headings for the second data from the 2021. So I'm going to delete that. Okay. And then we have year 2020 and year 2021 data. And then we can further analyze this in the pivot table. So let's do that quickly. I come to the insert tab. I choose pivot table and I will choose the current worksheet and I choose the location and I click on OK and then we have the pivot table field tax pain so I choose any field I want to analyze let's say I want to see the um, the brand so I click on this icon and it comes into the rows area and then I want to analyze by the units and uh, which comes into the values areas and then we can tidy things up by having a descriptive name of the column instead of seeing this row labels okay so i come to the pivot table contextual ribbon tab under the design tab and then under the layout i choose report layout and i 
we want to show in tabular form which i like so much and then we can see the name of the particular column that we drop in the rows area and finally we can just you know right click and let's see we want to use number separator so i choose number under this format cells number tab and then I can use use separator i can get rid of the decimals and click on ok and that's all so we've been able to get the data from the two pictures and then we analyze using the pivot table this is a new feature that i love so much in excel and i hope you love the new feature too so if you like this video kindly like comment and consider subscribe to the channel if you have not done so thank you and bye for now cheers